sports card fans, Beantown 62 coming at you live from Abilene, Texas. Got us a little bit of mail, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, baseball season is soon and quickly coming upon us. Because the Players Union and MLB agreed to the terms of operation for the 21 season. So that's out of the way, all good things. Um, Sunday, as we can see here, Tommy Terrific, my rookie card, rings. I never did. I ordered the seventh ring for the Patriots, and it never came in. And now, Or the sixth ring, rather. And now he's added a seventh, so I'm following way behind. Congratulations, Tom. Uh, magnificent season. Wish it was with us. But it wasn't, so that's it. So we're going to move on to my Red Sox and good stuff and some mail that we picked up. And see that? I don't know if you... It's a great card, isn't it? Yeah, I wish it was the big dog, but it's not. Jim don't have the big dog. That's what he's got. So there you have it. We'll move out off to the side. We're going to show you some mail that we got in. Um, start this off. And this first card, uh, picked it up because the price was right. Don't have anything from them. And this is a uh, 2000, 2006. And this is a wicked cool little card right here. Bam. And so we got Craig uh, Breslow. Really nice top certified autograph. Cool card. Um, nobody wanted to pay for it. So I picked her up pretty dang cheap. And uh, there she is. So happy to get that. Stick it in the collection. Nice Red Sox autograph. Really nice picture. And there we go. Craig Breslow. Uh, next card that came in. Um, of course, this is a no doubt, no brainer, right? So you have this whole series Fleer put out of Bean Town's Best, right? So Bean Town's Best, we we have to do it, right? And so let's go back, bam, Bean Bean Town's Best. So there you go. Um, we got this really nice Bean Town Best, Bernie Carbo, and I do not have a Bernie Carbo auto, so I'm move that out of the way. It's going to get in the way. So I picked her up, and these are really cool cards. Um, show you the back. And look at that. Is it not signed once, but it's signed twice? Bernie Carbo, number one, and then his favorite favorite scripture on there, John 3.16. Again, double signer. Don't see too many double signers. And again, why nobody wants to pay for Bernie Carbo auto, I don't know. But there you go, Beantown picked it up, because Why? It's Bean Town's best. That's why. Awesome card. Next card we picked up is going to look familiar because it's in the background. And so, bang, got the right deal on that, which is, of course, the base card. And so now we have three. We have the 225, and then we have the 275 red, the 225 green. And then we got this little uh, kind of light powder, kind of blue thing that's the base. Um, I did look on eBay, and for this card, I did see the uh, two ten. There's two, two of them to ten in there, but they're both well over a hundred dollars. And and I'm gonna be cheap and hang out and see if we can't get those to drop a little bit before we pick them up. But a really nice collection, and we're adding on to our Tanner Howe collection. And I'm gonna show you this card next. And I did not pick this card up, but this, this is sweet right here. It's a sweet Panini Mackin Collectors number three of five, David Ortiz Shadow Box. And this is really, really nice. Really nice signature on there. Show you the back. So, this card I had set aside for a project I'm working on, which I, I have all but done with. All I have to do is kind of get it all together and get it into a picture. But this, of course, is my one card that I was going to put in for the 2004. World Championship Inc. Um, project that I'm doing, but these shadow boxes, as you know, can be just a little thick. So trying to get this into a framed, you know, framed picture is going to be a little difficult. So I've been looking, trying to get something that would fit in there better. And so we're going to move this out of the way, and we're going to show you the DH. For the 2004, and really, I like you like when a card comes like that, right? You, especially when it's a nice card, and you get it all wrapped up in that nice tops box, and boom, you can open it up, and you look in there, and you know that nothing happened to this card in shipping. 
not a not a single thing and we pull it out of the box first time out of the box and there we go I'm gonna try not to mess it up doing this but very very nice David Ortiz tops championship reflections it is super super nice and and it's very thin and it will fit in again it will fit in here's the back of the card it will fit in too it will fit in too i'm gonna put a cap i'm gonna get a sleeve and put this thing in a sleeve before i hurt it it will fit into a frame picture muy better and so what's that frame picture of? So, of course, I'm doing the 2004 World Series Red Sox. And so you just saw our DH. And I know I'm at 554 right now. So that's the mail. That's you got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my 2004 collection of ink. And I'm going to start with the pitching staff. I'm going to go through it pretty quick. But here's the Topps Archive um, of Derek Lowe, 2002, 21 game winner. Had eight seasons of double-digit wins, most of them um, with the Red Sox. And again, huge, huge part of the uh, 2004 World Championship, the reverse the curse. Um, so that is, that is again, Derek Lowe. I'm going to throw some names at you. And we got this same uh, Topps Archive, uh, 2018, uh, Mike Timlin. Very nice. And then we go into, bam, same card, Archives, 2018. Um we got this really nice Keith Folk. And then this one's really nice. I mean, I like it. And why do I like it? Of course, I like the man, Tim Wakefield. Optics, Back to the Future. And why do I like this? Because this is a gold. And just like that, one of one. Somebody in the sports card fam actually picked this up for me. This is just really sweet. He was somewhere and got it, so... Got Wakefield there. Um, then we're going to start running out of... Can't, can't find players in a Red Sox uniform. It's really hard for some of them to find. Some of them hard to find autographs at all. Some of these I had to go back. But Alan Embry, um, I don't know if it's a TTM or whatever, but somebody picked it up. Curtis Laskanik. Again, the Rockies was with us for a couple years and was part of that team. Um, and then my man, Bronson Arroyo, just bringing back some memories. I hope this brings back some really good memories for you Sox fans out there going through, going through these, um, Mr. Mike Myers, really nice. And that was the pitching staff. We go into the catchers right now. And of course the man, the captain, Veritech, and again, it's a little thicker card too. Probably need to find something a little better than that. I believe I have another Tech Auto. These are these are all just numbered to 120 of 100, but cool card. So pitcher Veritech, and then the other catcher or catcher rather, the other catcher on the staff at that on the 2014 was of course Doug Marabelli. Um, kind of hard to see that auto on the dark background in the pen, but there's our two catchers. Then we go into first baseman. And of course the man, I mean big, big, big hits in that in that Yankee series and in the whole thing in 2004, Kevin Millar. Um awesome, awesome. I wish you could have got something in the Red Sox uniform. Of course, that's a prism, so it's not gonna have Boston on or anything else. Um and then the other first baseman on the team, really nice auto, and of course the USA, so it's not a Red Sox, but Doug Minkowitz, um, right there. Probably said that wrong. Going into our second baseman, got Mark Bellhorn, uh, Bam, and then going over to shortstop. Again, could not get a Red Sox uniform here either. Pretty, pretty tough um, on Orlando Cabrera, but really nice card. And then this shortstop, I actually did it my very first and only TTM, but Mr. Pokey Reese. So I got Pokey in a in a Red Sox uni because I sent him three cards and he actually signed him and returned them. And when I got him back, there's a video on, I had totally forgotten. I'd even sent them to him. And I thought I was getting packaged my own package back. It was really weird, but uh, there we go. And then we're going to go over to third base, a um, couple third basemen here. Of course, again, some big, big hits, Bill Mueller, 
And so that's got um, Bill Mew. He's got a signature on there and World Series champ up on the top in black. Of course, the color's kind of tough. Um, and then we got, of course, the uke. Kind of young, kind of that photo, but Kevin Euclid, Don Russ Signature Series. And then we're running through to the outfield. And we got, again, could not find Mr. Kapler, Mr. Gabe Kapler. And this is in a Fleer. Um, in a Red Sox uniform. I was lucky enough to get this card. And this is, again, a Topps Archive. Really, really nice signature. Really wicked, wicked piss of God. Uh, David Roberts, um, right there. That was happy to win that. I, I didn't actually have to pay a whole lot for that. And then we're, of course, we're in the outfield right now. Trot Nixon, again, had some great years with Boston. Really nice. And then we move on to Man Ram, Manny Ramirez, incredible card. Um, and again, um, the tribe, tough to get a Manny signature in Boston unless you want to pay a lot of money. And Beantown did not want to cut loose with that kind of money for this, so we didn't get it. And then finally wrapping up our center fielder, um, this really nice um, Strata, uh, Johnny Damon. And so there you go, 2004 World Championship Red Sox Players Inc. collection. I just merely need to put it all together. And so here we are, over 10 minutes. Nobody's going to watch my video, but oh well, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the flashback to 2004, and that's it. We're out of here. Later, dudes.